Hello, my name is Darren Holmes, and today I want to give you an alternative to using Microsoft Office and the products called LibreOffice. So using your favorite search engine, type in LibreOffice, and remember Libra in Spanish means free. So the first item to come up should be from the LibreOffice.org website, so go ahead and click on that. And on their web page, they tell you a little bit about what LibreOffice is. And I'm going to tell you it's uh, as a word processor, and it's a spreadsheet and presentation software. So just go up to uh, Download and click on Download LibreOffice. And I want to show you that the version that we're going to download today is 6.4.2. You can see we have to choose our operating system. So you can see it works on Linux, Mac, and Windows. Today I'm going to download the Windows 64-bit version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Download. And you'll notice the file is LibreOffice 6.4.2, Windows 64-bit version, and it's an MSI file. So this is a Windows installer package. I want you to note it's only 298 megabytes. Compare this to Microsoft Office, which is somewhere around 3 gigabytes to download. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And it's going to save it to my downloads file folder on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and say save. Now you might also want to download the LibreOffice built-in help. It's only 2 megabytes. And it saves you going out onto the internet for help. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And you'll notice it's only 2 megabytes. So I'm going to save that file as well and it's going to save it to my downloads directory. So looking at downloads, you can see I've already downloaded the help, and I only have about a minute 30 seconds left to download uh, LibreOffice. <laughs> So when it's finished downloading, just click on the little file folder beside the name of the file you just downloaded. So looking at your uh, downloads directory on your computer, you can see we have LibreOffice uh, Win64 MSI, and it comes out to 305 megabytes. So if you just go ahead and double click on it, It says, Welcome to the Installation Wizard. So we're just going to click on Next. I'm just going to do a typical installation. So I'm going to click on Next. And I want to create a shortcut on my desktop. But I don't really want it to load every time I turn my computer on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Install. Now one thing that's going to pop up on your screen is user account control. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? It says it's a verified publisher. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on yes. And then you can see it goes ahead and does its install. Okay, so it now comes up and says installation wizard completed. So I'll just go ahead and click on finish. So the next thing I'm going to do is install the help pack. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on that. It says welcome to the installation wizard. So I'm just going to click on next. So the next window comes up and it says attention. LibreOffice help must be installed in the installation directory of LibreOffice program. So, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Next, and then I'm going to click on Install. 
So once again, user account control comes up, and this is for LibreOffice Help Pack. It's a verified publisher. So once again, I'm going to click on Yes, and it does its install. So it says Installation Wizard Complete, so I'm just going to click on Finish. So now I'm going to close Windows File Explorer. And now I can go ahead and double click on LibreOffice 6.4 desktop icon. So this is what LibreOffice looks like. It says welcome to LibreOffice, drop a document here, or pick an app from the left side to create one. So you can see we have a writer for document, calc for spreadsheet, presentations. So I'm going to bring up uh, Windows Explorer and you can see in my downloads uh, directory I've downloaded a couple of documents. One's the uh, PDF version of my AC Circuit Lab 1, so I'm going to double click on that. And this is what the lab looks like in PDF. So I'm going to close uh, that down. And now I'm going to take the 2018 AC Circuit Lab 1. It's a docx file, which means it's a Word file. So I'm just going to grab that and drop it into LibreOffice. LibreOffice is going to give you some tips. So you can either leave it on or turn it off. It's up to you. But you'll notice here's my Word document actually put into LibreOffice. Now some of the formatting is going to be off a little bit because it is a different program. But as you can see, LibreOffice is able to open a Word document. So I just wanted to zoom in here and show you a couple little quirks of uh, LibreOffice. First of all, you'll notice that uh, up here on my header, I actually have some uh, boxes drawn around it. So if you go to View, you'll notice it has uh, table boundaries. So if you click on table boundaries, those little square boxes disappear for you. Just like Word, this is my header section, so I have header sections and footer sections. Now you might be wondering, if I'm working in LibreOffice Writer, how do I open up the spreadsheet? Because if you go back here and double click on LibreOffice desktop icon, it just brings up the document you're already working on. So if you minimize it and double click on LibreOffice, it just brings it back up again. So you need to come up here to the File menu item, come down to New, and select Spreadsheet. And now you can see that you have the uh, LibreOffice Calc open at the same time as you have LibreOffice Writer open. So just a little quirk that's uh, different from uh, Microsoft Word and Excel because with Word and Excel you actually have two different icons on your desktop. So I just wanted to show you what LibreOffice looked like as an alternative to using Microsoft Office. And don't forget LibreOffice is absolutely free but if you find it useful don't forget to give the guys a donation to help them with their website. So don't forget to click on subscribe and perhaps I can help you with some other free software coming in the future. And thank you for watching.